This screencast pertains to the materials in Module 6, Lesson 9, where we generate two number patterns from given rules, plot the points, and analyze the patterns. This is based upon the practice set, and it closely parallels what you'll see in your homework. For number one, we're going to construct a, a pair of lines and uh, make some generalizations about them, and then finally make a third line based upon what we figured out based upon the patterns of the first two lines. Now let's look at line A. We have a rule. Y is 1 more than X. I, uh, I kind of like to do this. I say Y equals X plus 1. So if X is 1, Y is 2. X is 5, Y is 6. X is 9, Y is 10. And X is 13, Y is 14. We'll now fill in the ordered pairs. and then we'll plot these ordered pairs on our coordinate plane. Start with 1 and 2 and then we have 5, the y is 6 and now we have 10, or excuse me, 9 and y is 10. Now at this point I'm checking, I want to make sure that everything lies on a straight line and appears that it does because every th line that we construct in this module needs to be a straight line. And let's finally do 13 with 14. Now we're going to construct the line. Okay, now that we have the line, we'll label it A. Now we'll go for the second line, B, and we have a rule that Y is 4 more than X. So again, I'm going to write y equals x plus 4, just to turn that into an expression. And if x is um, 0, y is 4, and 5 plus 4 is 9, and 8 plus 4 is 12, and 11 plus 4 is 15. Writing in our ordered pairs, then we'll plot them on our coordinate plane. Again, it should be a straight line. So I'm going to start with 0 and 4. 5 and 9. 8 and 12. 12. And finally, 11 and 15. We can see that, indeed, these do form a straight line. Now let's connect them. Now we'll label that line B. Okay, uh, compare and contrast the lines. I am not going to write all this out, but we can uh, look at a number of things here. Uh, these two lines are parallel, so both line A and B are parallel. We could look at where they intersect the y-axis. You'll notice that the rule for A is y equals x plus 1, and it intersects the y-axis at 1. And if we look at the rule for B, y equals x plus 4, the uh, line B intersects the y-axis at 4. We could say that for any given value of x, for example, if I have x is 5, here I get a 5, 6, and here I get a 5, 9. Uh, we could say that the value is 3 greater. So given any x, the value for y is 3 greater. We can see that by looking at our uh, number line here. Okay, now we go to C. It says, based on the pattern you see, predict what line C will look like whose rule is y is more seven, 7 more than x. What would it look like? Draw your prediction on the plane above. Well, since uh, y equals x plus 4 is higher above, it's above that line y equals x uh, plus 1, I'm predicting that it's going to show up over here. And since y equals x plus 1 intersects the y-axis at 1, and y equals x plus 4 it intersects the y-axis at 4, I predict that the rule y is 7 more than x is going to intersect the y-axis at uh, 7. So we can uh, create some values here with that rule. 
I'm just going to write them on, uh, down here. And we have, I'll take 0 and 7, and I'll have uh, 5 and 12. And I'll take uh, a third value, we'll say uh, 7 and 14. Okay, we'll plot these four values. Uh, I'd like to have at least, or three values. I'd like to have at least three values. So we'll start with 0 and 7. And we have 5 and 12. 5 and 12. So far so good. Looks like it's uh, going to be parallel. And 7 and 14. And we can see that these do lie on a straight line. So all we have to do now is connect the lines. And indeed, we have our line D. We'll label it now. And as I mentioned, or C rather, it is parallel to lines A and B. And it does intersect the y-axis at 7. For problem 2, we're going to create another set of lines based upon different rules. And these rules are uh, multiplication. We could also look at line f as division, but let's uh, talk about multiplication because it makes more sense in this case. All right, so we have a rule here. Uh, rule y is twice as much as x. So again, I can rewrite that y equals 2x. And now I'm going to record my values. Uh, x times uh, 2, 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 5 is 10, and 2 times 9 is 18. We'll make the ordered, uh, ordered pairs. And then we'll plot them on our graph. We start at the origin. 0, 0. We have 2, 4. And again, we're going to be looking for this next line, this next uh, point to bring us to something that forms a, a straight line, and indeed it does. And now we have 9 and 18. So 9 and 18. Okay, now we need to form a line and label it E. Okay, now we'll construct line F after labeling this E. So we got E, and now we have F. So Y is half as much as X, and I'm going to set this up as a multiplication rule. Remember, we could have X divided by 2, but we could also Y equals 1 half X. So uh, for E, we're multiplying by a factor greater than 1, and for uh, F, we're multiplying by a factor less than 1. It's, that's a good way to look at this. Okay. 0 divided by 2, or 1 half of 0, is 0. 1 half of three, 6 is 3. 1 half of 10 is 5. And 1 half of 20 is 10. Let's plot the values. Again, we start at the origin. I already have a point there. And I have 6 for my x, 3 for my y. And I have 10 for my x and 5 for my y. And we see that we have what looks like a straight line. And we have 20 for x and 10 for y. Okay, now we need to construct a line. Now we'll label that one f. So what happens here? Well, they're similar in that they both intersect at the origin. We can see that E is much uh, steeper than F. And if we had Y equals X, we know from previous lessons that that would be exactly a 45 degree angle going from the origin uh, through 10, 10, 20, 20. So we have, again, the smaller the factor, the less steep it is. The greater the factor, the steeper it is because line E has a factor of 2 and line F has a factor of one-half. For part C, it says based on the patterns you see, what predict what line G, whose rule is Y 
is four times as much as x would look like. Draw your prediction in the plane above. Well, we talked before, the greater the factor, the steeper the line. So I would expect g to be even steeper than e. So let's plot some values and create the line. So if I start with 0, I get 0, because 4 times 0 is 0. So we know it's going to go through the origin. I'll uh, plot uh, 2, and that would be 8. And I'll have uh, 5 and, oh, that's, excuse me, 5 and 20. So these are each 4 times as much. So I'll, let's plot the points. I have one at the origin already. I'll go with 2 and 8. I'll go with 5 and 20. Indeed, our prediction is correct. Let's create a line uh, just to finish the job. Now that we have the line drawn it, we'll label it G, and we can see that indeed it's steeper. Uh, the hypothesis that the greater the factor, the steeper the line holds true.